episode, um, we're going to do a spread that was inspired by a um, page in a in a book that I got from a like a secondhand store. Um, I had just ripped out some pages and kept the pages, and I found one of them now, and it kind of looks like a um, like an underwater scene, more or less. So I decided to um, paint the background first with some cheap craft paints, and actually they're chalk paints that I just found. Actually, there's no reason why I'm using chalk paint in particular, but I just had them, so I, I wanted to use them before they dry up. So here I'm mixing two different um, blues together to try to get a blue that sort of matches the blue of the page I'm going to use. So I'm just sloppily putting that paint down with a sponge brush. Then I let it dry, or I, I dried it off camera because you don't really need to see that. And then I take the, the um, page and I think about which parts of the page I want to use. So I, I tear out the part on the left. Um, and I'm not sure yet at this point actually which parts, the, so how far down I want to go. Um, but there's these cute little creatures on the bottom left that I definitely wanted to keep. So that kind of worked out nicely. So here I'm just tearing to see how much would fit. And then on the right side, to balance it, I also take a part of the image um, and I just see how that's going to fit. Yeah, so I like that and I glue it down. And at this point, I have no idea what else I'm going to do. So I'm just going to glue it down and then see what the page needs, basically. So then I decide um, I don't like these white edges of the images. So I take my water brush, just because it was handy, it could have been a regular brush as well. And I start going around the edges of the torn paper just to make the images blend more into the background. this creature where I'm um, painting right now I don't know what it is it kind of looks like a donkey or something and it totally doesn't fit in this underwater thing but um, it was in the original image and and I thought it was so cute and it doesn't really matter that it, that it doesn't make sense so then I find this sticker in my sticker collection that says today is the perfect day to be happy and I love that the colors Totally match the like the yellow of the seahorses on the left so I, I balance those by putting that on the right side and then I have these um, underwater themed stamps from the little stamp store and I will link the unboxing of that um, subscription box uh, down below in the in the comments so there's this gorgeous little seahorse that is of course perfect for this page and these little um, sea stars as well so I just decide to kind of put them in random places on the bottom just to fill up a little bit of the gaps and then there was also this sand dollar that's also from the same unboxing so I put down, that down a couple of times Then there's this alpha set that was in the same box 
and so here I just um, align the letters to stamp my date there's the August and unfortunately they didn't have numbers that went with that came with the set so I just took some random numbers that I thought are closest to the size um, they still don't really fit but it's okay Yep, and then I take my black marker 0.3 and I start journaling. And I'm journaling about my day, about what happened at work. Yep, and so that's the spread. And now I'll just give you a few more shots of the final page. So thank you so much. Um, I hope got some inspiration from this. Thanks for watching. Bye!